Hi everyone, welcome back to Inspired by Yvette. So in today's video, it's going to be a tutorial where I'm going to show you how I designed a Mr. and Mrs. so like a shirt for a bride and groom. So we will spend the bulk of our time in design space designing the shirt. I'll show you where I got the design, how I set it up, and then we'll get into the good part, which is the pressing of it. So I followed um, Cricketing with Delanda, her video, which she is another YouTuber here on YouTube, and she's very good at what she does. And so I really kind of basically followed what she did. So if you don't subscribe to her channel, go ahead and check her out as well. And I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching and just stay tuned. We'll start off in design space and then we'll move on and progress to the rest of it. Let me let me show you the shirts. So this is the front of the groom shirt. And then this is the back. It says happily. And then the bride's shirt. <laughs> this is the front of the bride's shirt and it says misers. And then the back of her shirt says ever after. So side by side, it will say, as you see, like happily and then ever after. And his will have 20 and then hers will have 22 on it. Okay, so I was really excited about it. They came out very well. So you'll see my excitement in the video. I'm still excited. So I hope they like them because I love them. So enjoy the video. As I said, keep watching and um, stay tuned great teacher so I went to design bundles just like she did so I'm going to go to design bundles.net and well let's pull that up and then it's a mr. and Mrs. so you can type mr. and Mrs. and then SVG you can see a lot of different designs that you can use. You can purchase these, which is not a bad price and you have unlimited use of them. You can even use them for commercial use, like use to sell. So I'm going to just go over to my purchases since I've already purchased it, my plus purchases. And this is the file right here that we will be using for the front of the shirts. So it will look just like this. I've already downloaded it. It says download again, but you can go to your downloads folder, which I'll pull mine up. And you'll find it on your downloads folder. Mine is somewhere down a little bit further because I did it a while ago. Um, I downloaded it a while ago, but it'll be at the top if, if you do it recent. Okay, so once that is downloaded, then we'll go back to Cricut Design Space. We're going to hit upload and then mine are right here if you need to upload your image just go right here to upload image and then you just browse or you can drag and drop drag and drop it whatever you can browse go to downloads find your file and then put it open it okay so I'm not going to do that since mine is already there okay let me go back and upload it I should have done that Okay, so I'm going to click on both of those and go down here to add to canvas, bottom right. All right, so we have those two files, the Mr. and the Mrs. And I'll go ahead and get me a t-shirt template. So we'll go right here up to templates and we're going to go just to a classic t-shirt. I'm going to do the men's short sleeve in the medium size medium. We can also change the color of the shirt so we get a good idea of what it's going to look like. I'm going to do, let's do the burgundy. The, the groom shirt is burgundy, the bride is pink, but we'll go with the burgundy color for the design. Excuse me. And I don't need the grid lines, so I'm going to go to this corner here, right here where I clicked, and you can click those lines and change them. So I'm going to turn those off. We'll work on the Mr. shirt first. So for our established Mr., I'm going to make that shirt um, or that file. I think I'm going to do seven inches. I think Delanda did a little bit bigger, but my shirts are smaller. So I'm going to go seven inches for that. And I'll go ahead and do seven inches also for the Mrs. We'll do it at the same time. 
And then as far as I'm going to put establish Mr. I'm going to put the wedding date there. So we'll go here, go here and get text. And I'm going to type in 10.09.2022. That is the wedding date. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. But as you see, it needs to, that opening needs to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in to 50%. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to have to make that opening just slightly wider. So I'm going to get a shape. We'll get a rectangle. And I'm going to just make that rectangle slightly wider. Let's make it four inches. I'm gonna make the rectangle four inches. And then I think that's going to be big enough for what we need. I'm going to duplicate it because I'll need to do the same thing for the bride's shirt. So I'll go over here and duplicate it. So we'll have a second rectangle ready. And this file is in different layers. As you see over here on the layers panel, I'm actually, I'm going to weld it together just because, so it can be one layer and I don't have to worry about just slicing like, you know, one part of it and all of that. I'm going to make that whole file one layer. So to do that, I'm going to weld it together because I want it to stay exactly as it is. So we'll go down here to weld and I'm going to weld that together. And I am actually going to go ahead and do the same thing to the misses and we'll select that and I'm going to hit well. So we see we have only one, two layers for both of them. Now I go and grab my square, my rectangle, and I'm going to select both of those, align horizontal, center horizontal. So it's right there in the center. And then while both of those are selected, I'm going to go down here and hit slice. It's going to slice out that piece. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that made that a little bit wider for us. Okay, so I can delete all of this. We don't need that. Now, when I put a date here, it should be, that should be big enough for what we need. Oh, let's make that wider. Yeah, so that'll be good. I'm going to change the font on the date though. I need that font to be different. I'm going to open up another Cricut design space because I, I already made this shirt. So I'm going to see what I saved it as before. Let me see what font I use for the number. Oh, I just used Times New Roman. <laughs> go figure. Okay, so let's go back to the other one. And I'm just going to change that to Times New Roman is what I used. Okay. And I can just type, type in Times. Okay, so we'll make that Times New Roman. And we're going to shrink it down. I think I'm going to shrink it a little bit more. And I think that is good. Let me check and make sure that's what I did. This, I have it at 23.160 oh, and I need it bold. That's what I did. See, if I had been doing this <laughs> off camera, <laughs> I would have remembered that. So we're going to make that bold, okay? So we'll do Times New Roman, bold, and I had it at 23.16, so we'll just keep it that size. And that looks good in there. So I'm going to duplicate. Let me go ahead and slice this out. So we're going to align, center horizontal, we're going to slice. 
Okay, take that and I delete this. And I am going to duplicate our number and we'll put that number right there for the measures. Let's see if I can center that. Yeah, center horizontal, center horizontal, and then we'll just attach so that all of that stays the same. And we're going to attach this down here, the paper clip. So we have both of those done. That's the front of the shirt. So we'll zoom out so you can kind of see. So the front will say established misers and then established mister. And they all need to be black. Well, it'll actually be white. Let's just go ahead and make it white. It will be white and it will be white. Okay, so now let us work on the back of our shirts. Let's get a text box and we are going to move those two out of the way. That is done. Our text box, the top of the groom shirt, we're going to put happily. So I'm going to type happily. And then I'm going to put enter, go enter on the keyboard and 20. Okay, and I am just going to go here to my font that I want. The font that I want is going to be a Cricut Access font. So I'm going to go to the Cricut font. Okay. So the Cricut font, so we're going to look down here. It's the gaming font. The This one right here is not too far from the top, actually. And I need to bookmark that. So let's save that one. It's BFC Game Bold. I like that one because it's a kind of like a jersey type font. And um, as you see, it has some cutouts. We'll go ahead and make that white because that will also be white. And we're going to put happily 20. So what I'm going to do is go here to advanced, ungroup two lines. So that will make these two separate things. For happily, I'm going to make that 11 by three. So I'm going to unlock the dimension box, make the width 11, and we're going to make the height three. And this is exactly, I believe, the size that Delonda did. And then we'll lock that back. For 20, I am going to make that nine by nine. I think hers was a little bit, hers was a little bit larger than that, but we're gonna go nine by nine for these shirts is what I'm going to do. And so it will say happily 20. And so I'm going to do the same thing for the bride's shirt. Let's get another text box. I'm going to type ever after, enter 22. Okay, I'll go over here, make this a little bit bigger. Not that big. Don't need it that big. We're going to go to advanced, ungroup to lines, ever after is going to be unlocked. I'm going to make that 11 by three. And 22, we are going to make un unlock that and make that nine by nine. Okay, so that is done. I'm going to make that white. I should have done that already. Both of those are be white. So you see what we're doing, as you already see, happily ever after 2022 when they're standing side by side. And the front will be Mr. And the front of hers will be Mrs. And I'm going to go ahead and center the words and the number, make sure that is centered horizontal. And let me move this over so I can see it better. And I think the space in there is good, but what I could do is just take my arrow on the keyboard and bring it up. That way it won't move it left or right. It'll just go up a little bit. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Oops. Let's hit the undo button. <laughs> okay, we're going to highlight both of those and then I'm going to align center horizontally. And I think the 20 is too close to happily, so I'm gonna move that down with the arrow on my keyboard. I think that looks good. So I'm not doing an offset. This is just one color. We are going to attach both of these, attach that together, go down here and hit attach. That way it cuts just like this. 
um, and I don't have to try to line it up and I'm going to attach that one as well. So we'll attach that. So that way when I go to make it, this will cut like that, this one will cut like that, and these will cut just like that. Did we attach those? Yeah, we did. Okay, so I'm going to actually change the color on the Mr. and Mrs. because this will actually be cut out of um, just basic vinyl. This is going to be the mesh vinyl. So I'm going to change the color just so the Cricut doesn't put them on the same mat to gray. We'll just change it to a gray, a light gray. And as a matter of fact, well, these two will automatically go on two separate mats because it'll be this ever after is going to be a glitter mesh vinyl. And then this is going to be just regular. So let's go over here. Um, we can save it, save our project before we go to cut it. And I am going to go to make it. I don't have my machine turned on, but let's see. Hopefully it'll... I don't have to go through to cutting it right now since I've already cut it, but this will be um, on one mat on the white vinyl and it's a 12 by 12 mat. We're going to make sure to mirror because it's iron on. So we're going to mirror it. And then this one will be on a 12 by 24 inch mat forever after. We'll mirror that one. And mat three, we're going to mirror that one as well. Okay, so we are ready. All of those are done and we're ready to hit continue. Now, if my machine was plugged up, it would connect to it. So let me plug it up and be right back. Okay, everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with making the bride and the groom shirts. For the bride's shirt, it will be this uh, Bella Canvas mauve color shirt that I got from Michaels. The groom shirt is going to be the burgundy one. So for the groom, we will use just the regular mesh vinyl. So that will be the numbers on the back. This will be for the back of the shirt. And then for the bride's shirt, we're going to use the mesh vinyl, but this time we've, I'm going to use the glitter. The holes are a little bit wider, but it's a glitter on it. I don't know if you can see it from here. We are, it's kind of like a hurricane going on. So it's cloudy, um, or not really a hurricane now, it's a tropical depression. So it's rainy, cloudy, windy. So I decided I will go ahead and make my shirts. So that's that. And then for the front of the shirts, we're just going to use a regular white iron-on. So let me get the material put on the mats and then I'll come back and show you me cutting it, probably fast forward it. Just in case, um, I'll go ahead and show me putting the material on the mat. So I'm going to do the shiny side down because it's iron-on. So iron-on is always shiny side down. And I am just going to line this up right here. And then I'll take my brayer. Okay, so I will take my brayer now that I've found it and we'll go ahead and burnish this down on the mat really well just to make sure we get a good cut. That's what I usually do, is roll it on. Hope I have that on straight. So I'll go ahead and cut that off, and I think I'm going to use my, my knife and cut it. Let's see how much I need. So here y'all, I am just going to speed this up a little bit. I am just using my True Control knife to cut that vinyl to the size that I need. I needed the full 12 inches, so I went ahead and did that and I put the rest of it up to use another time. And let's see. I was drinking my coffee and trying to relax and make shirts and I thought, why not record this? They may want to see this part. I don't know, you may not. <laughs> so then I got out my 24 inch mat to put the glitter um, mesh vinyl on. And of course we always do the shiny side down when we're doing iron on. I had to turn the mat around because I don't know why I always have to do it that direction. Seems like to get it straight. Um, this is a part that I struggle with is getting the material on the mat straight. But we did it and we used up all of that roll. 
So that is our mesh. We're going to take the brayer and also go ahead and make sure that's good and adhere to the mat. Let's see, so the next thing I'll get another 24 inch mat out so that we can put the other material on that. So we'll have all of our mats prepped and ready to go when it's time to feed it through the machine. Uh, so we'll go ahead and I'll put the regular mesh on there. And of course that will be the shiny side down. So sounding a little bit repetitive, but you don't want to do it wrong because then you risk messing up material and wasting money. So you will do it wrong sometime because I have, um, but that's part of the learning process. So we'll make sure to roll that out, make sure it's on there very good. And I believe the next clip, I am going to fast forward through that, showing you the tip of my blade there, because usually I take a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel and just push the blade in and clean off the tip of it. So usually that's what I do just about every time I make a cut um, is to make sure that the blade is nice and clean. And that gets anything off of there if you have glitter residue or a little bit of vinyl from another occasion, it just gets everything nice and clean. So here you all, what I'm doing, I have already started cutting. This is the um, regular vinyl. I'm taking that flashlight and looking at the cut lines just to see if I thought that it cut good and cut all the way through. And I decided to run it back through the machine another time. So to do that, you just hit the C. You do not unload the mat. If you hit that C to go, like that's the go button, it will cut over those same lines again. And so that's what I did. After the fact, I don't think it was necessary, but it's always better to be safe than sorry when you're in doubt. So that's what I was doing. I was trying to make sure I did not have any drama when it came time to weed the design out. So now I am just unloading my mats and I am getting ready to weed all of this out. Um, getting ready to weed. Going to play my music, relax, weed this out. I will bring you all back when I get ready to press. So we're done weeding. This was very easy to weed. It cut beautiful. I think I like this. Okay, so this is the Misers and Mister. And then I'm done with the Ever After 2022. Let me see it. Okay, so that's that. So I decided to split this video up into two parts because the first part took a little bit long on the designing part. Stay tuned so you can watch me press the shirts if you'd like. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you all have a great day. Sending you love from South Carolina. And I'll see you next time. Bye.